Hello everybody, Chris here. I'm going to do some training with you on our software tools called Merchalytics and Merch Workshop. Today we're going to focus on Merch Workshop. Your login information, once you register, register for either one, but your login, from, login information will apply to both. So whether or not you, you're, you are using the Merchalytics tool or the Merch Workshop tool, when you log in, you'll be able to use that same login username and password for both. In the Merch Workshop tool, you're going to have the homepage, of course, List Assist and Keyword Finder. We're going to talk about in this training video the Keyword Finder. This is probably one of the most important things people are confused about or have questions about as they relate to merch. When it comes to selling t-shirts and print-on-demand products, specifically on merch by Amazon, a good design, a quality design, a compelling design is paramount. That's the most important. Why is that most important? I don't care how well you optimize something or how great that product can be found or seen by millions of people. If it stinks, it stinks. Junk in, junk out. So that's first. We're not going to talk about that. That's another conversation, other training and that kind of stuff. We can talk about that later. Put some comments in the YouTube video, if you, in the, uh, the comment section on YouTube if you want to, if you want to know more about it. This is how the heck do I find or do my customers find my product? How do I find the customers and how do my customers find my stuff? What do we mean by this? When we go to Amazon, we type things in in Amazon. Maybe it's going to be mousetrap. I want to find a mousetrap. There's something that works behind the scenes. It's called an algorithm. You've probably heard that word used before. That's basically an equation or a function. Something that's working behind the scenes that lets us know, lets Amazon know, hey, I know exactly what these people are looking for. When they look for a mousetrap, this is what they're looking for. What happens in the algorithm, what supersedes everything, what is most important is, for a keyword, the number of sales, period, Full stop, meaning this product, these are sponsored, ignore these, these are advertisements. We'll talk about that in another video. But the organic ranking, consider these, These are. this is an ad, it's called a sponsored ad. See how it says sponsored? Someone paid to be here. This is sponsored, this is sponsored, this is sponsored. You can tell by the little sponsored there. That's an advertisement. So we're talking about what's called organic ranking. When someone types in mousetrap, what shows up first? This one shows up first. That's it. This one shows up first. This one shows up second. This one shows up third. Because right now in the last, no one really knows, it's closed in the last hour probably, 15 minutes, hour, two hours, depending on how fast the algorithm cycles, this item sold more than this item, which sold more than this item. That's it. When someone typed in mouse trap, that's the order in which of popularity in which the item sold. No more, no less, okay? These rotate, or, or th this, this, and this, these three items. These rotate, these, these advertisements, these sponsored ads, they rotate. These are organic rankings. Similar thing applies. You may be scratching your head saying, what the heck, Chris? How does that relate to my T-shirts? It does relate to your T-shirts because if you have a uh, funny cat uh, T-shirt, yes, that's a generic keyword, Ignore that for now. Funny cat t-shirt. When someone types this in, when your customers all around the country, soon to be all around the world for merch, when someone types this in, what do you get? These are all sponsored. Ignore these for now. This is what shows up. This one, kitty cat in a, in a uh, baby carrier, and this wacky cat shooting laser beams. <laughs> That's a cool t-shirt. And then this one and this one, all in order of sales. Pretty popular. 124 reviews, seven reviews, 36 reviews, 20 reviews, popular t-shirts, 161 reviews. That is how that works. What's behind the scenes here? For those that really want to nerd out, and if you want to go to school on this, go to a9.com. Notice something about this company and their logo. A9, look at this little smiley face. Is that reminiscent of something? Yep. This is the entire platform in which Amazon is based their search functionality. It is the equation or the algorithms, algorithm, they do algorithms for other co companies as well, but their foundational basis for the company was, is the entire search functionality for Amazon. Why the hell am I telling you all this? Why the heck? Sorry for the potty mouth. Why the heck am I telling you all this? Because this matters a lot. Maybe we don't want to do, go after funny, t funny cat t-shirt would be very difficult to rank for. 
meaning it will be very difficult in the merch space to be seen with a pair of eyeballs on this keyword. Because when you have a brand new product and you put it on merch and you list it, it may be never ever seen. Gosh, I put a design out there and it's really awesome. People love it. My friends like it. They're saying legitimately, they're not just being nice. It's a good quality professional design. Awesome. You have to have people see it. So how do you have people see it? You need to go after keywords that are harder to find or a little more obscure or long tail, meaning more words to it. Funny cat t-shirt is not a particularly long tail keyword, okay? Or funny cat shirt. What other things are being given to us for data points that help us? Amazon's auto populate functionality, meaning, oh, you're looking for a funny cat shirt? This is what other people are searching for. That's what the A9 algorithm is telling us and helping us. Amazon's saying, you want a funny cat shirt? You, do you want funny cat shirts with an S? Do you want funny cat shirts for men, women, girls, boys, prime, for kids, youth, funny cat shirt D, whatever that is, funny cat shirt for adults? In order of popularity, meaning more people searched for funny cat shirts for men than did funny cat shirts for women, funny cat shirts for girls. This is illustrating a point. Maybe we could go after a, a niche or a product or keywords for funny cat shirts youth. Okay, well that's weird. No one searches for that, but they do because Amazon is telling us they search for that. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example of one of our t-shirts, well, a t-shirt that I'm selling right now. <clears throat> I don't wanna pull any punches. I don't wanna pretend that we're something we're not or anything else like that. We sell on merch, we like merch, we're bigger Amazon sellers. I'd rather spend my time and, and, and um, grow that business because it's a, you, reading our blog posts, I'll talk about this later on. I, for the use of time, it's quick, it's easy to get into merch for sure, but for the amount of time and effort spent, I think there could be a lot better things spent on Amazon, your time spent on Amazon, but that's neither here nor there. We do sell on merch to stay close to it. We want to know, hey, it's a couple extra bucks. Why not? Uh, so let's, here's a shirt we're selling. So I wanted full disclosure here. We'll share with you what we're doing. We're doing volleyball shirts. Now, volleyball shirts, I type in volleyball shirt. What's some popular things? Women, girls, teens, men, youth, long sleeve, four boys, teen girls, great. But if I look for just volleyball shirts, our shirt doesn't really show up very often, okay? These sponsored shirts, let's go to the organic rankings. These are, and you could do a search yourself, depending on when you watch this video, and then when you do the search, these might shuffle around. But this one's been there forever. Um, so that's pretty popular. It's gonna be there for a long time. I would wanna find our product. I know I'm not gonna rank well because Amazon, bear with me with the scrolling, it's only gonna show you about nine or so pages of these things. That's, the odds of me having the only volleyball shirt that can show up are pretty slim. I still want some sales. So what do I wanna do? I wanna find a keyword or a niche or a product that I can go after I can actually get some sales from. So instead of volleyball shirt, let's do volleyball shirt for women, for girls. I've got a theme of a shirt that's volleyball shirts for girls. Let's look for that, volleyball shirts for girls. Let's see if I can show up here, and I think we are, on page one, right there. Volleyball shirts for girls. I know, I play like a girl, try to keep up. Cool, fun saying for women, for young women that are kicking butt and taking names. That's a great design. Do we sell some? Yeah, we sell some. So what are our top selling items? Um, just, just last three months, we sold 43 units of that, that item. That's pretty darn good. The algorithm helped me, helped us. It said, you know what people are looking for? They're not looking for just volleyball shirts. They're looking for volleyball shirts for girls. Why don't we just do, oops, sorry, I'm click happy. Why don't we do a t-shirt that's not just a volleyball shirt, it's a volleyball shirt for girls. There we go, okay? So how, does, how the heck does that relate to our tool? That's a bit of a long story. Thanks for sticking with me on the A9 algorithm, how search functionality in Amazon works. So that's great, but how, I'm not gonna type in volleyball shirt Volleyball shirt for women, write all these things down. Volleyball shirts, oh, that changed a little bit down here. Volleyball shirts for mom. Volleyball shirts for women, girls, that changed a little bit. Um, for Volleyball shirts for teen girls long sleeve. Ooh, for those watching the video early, 
I take that design, not my design, your design. I'm going to take my design and I'm going to make a volleyball shirt for teen girls long sleeve. I put those keywords into my listing. I can probably rank for that item pretty quickly. In fact, that gives me an idea. I'm going to do that and show, do another, I'm going to see how fast I can get that thing to rank. Okay. Let's bet. I have a bad focus problem. So let's get back to the merch workshop tool that we've built. You notice how these things change as a whole bunch of combinations. Let's just do this. Let's make this so much easier. We made it easier for you. Let's do volleyball, spell it right, shirt. Look what happens. You gotta hit the button. Look what happens. We've created a tool that goes out there and uses that auto populate feature for you and says, look, these are 51 keyword phrases, which contain 35 unique words related to volleyball shirts. They're all not going to apply, but many will. And here we go. We have all the data auto-populated. Let's go back to volleyball shirt. Let me show you what happened here. Volleyball shirt. Let me scroll down here. If we do, let's reset this. If we do volleyball shirt, Look what's going on. Come on, catch up computer. Volleyball shirt, shirts. Shirts for women, girls, teens, men, youth. Notice on this product, on this um, tool, volleyball shirts, women, girls, teen, men, youth. See how that's working? But it goes much deeper. So we don't have to write things down. We don't have to figure stuff out. And it goes much farther than we ever could figure out because look how far it goes down here. Volleyball shirt, youth. Volleyball shirts for girls long sleeve. Volleyball shirts for men long sleeve. Volleyball shirts for teen girls long sleeve. Dang, that may not have a lot of search traffic for it. But if you've got a shirt that relates to volleyball shirts for teen girls long sleeve, dang, that's pretty interesting. Why don't you build some shirts around that? Amazon, folks, is enormous. You will get traffic. Somebody, a few people, type that in. Give the people what they want. Get a volleyball shirts for teen girls long sleeve, okay? Someone's got some on there already, awesome. But let's scroll through here and see, let's go a few pages deep to page three. And we're already getting something interesting going on. Tank tops, tank tops. They're not, that's a t-shirt. That's not a long sleeve shirt. So you're thinking, well, that's weird. That's weird, and that spells opportunity to you because Amazon wants to put up a volleyball shirt for teen girls long sleeve. They want products to go there. They're running out of products already right here. This thing, I don't know why this thing is here. I'm thinking that's not related to. That's probably a long sleeve shirt, and the algorithm's going, Ugh, try this one. It's kind of uncharted waters. That's the great thing about a tool like this is it's giving you data where you can go where people aren't, where your competitors are not. You have opportunity here. That's where you want to go. So don't get confused by this. That's a long video. Thanks for sticking with me on how the search functionality works, how the A9 algorithm works, how our tool works. The next video I'm going to give you is how to use this information. How do we use the keyword phrases? How do we download these, these keywords? What do we do with these keywords when we get them? Next step is to put it on list assist. And that's a wonderful hack to make sure you're using all of these keywords that we used, we got from the volleyball shirt, we're gonna use them on our listing so we're optimized so people can find it when they type things in like this. So you'll be found when people search for that. Thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next training video.